We begin with some back to school coverage for you at 530. Fall River's new high school was in the spotlight today. Good evening. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. City and state leaders held a dedication ceremony for the new Durfee High School here, which opened its doors to students last fall. It came after years of planning and building, which was approved by voters in 2018. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie went to the dedication ceremony and takes us inside the high school. New at 530. The state of the art new high school is massive and leaders say the building is all about new opportunities. Before you see the modern designs of the new Durfee High School, you're first reminded of Fall River's rich history. We wanted the school to tell the Fall River story. Durfee principal Matthew Damaris says though shovels went into the ground four years ago, the process to design the new high school spanned over a decade. He says the conversation started during an accreditation visit when school leaders were told they had to renovate or remodel. That process spanned several city administrations, several superintendencies, several principalships, and here we are. Beyond these doors stands three floors of classrooms built for 21st century learning, including a TV studio, athletic facility, pool, and space for various vocational programs. The new Durfee High School will provide educators with the upgraded space and state of the art technology to support them in fulfilling their commitment to their students. Before you can even step inside, efforts to keep students and faculty safe meets you at the door. These Evolve weapon screening systems are at each entrance of the school. Those are the same machines you walk through when you go to a Patriots game. You don't have to stop, you go through, you pass your um, Chromebook off to the side and you walk right through. It's settled everybody's uh, issues a little bit and it's, uh, it's something we're more than willing to invest in for student safety. The Massachusetts Building Authority funded about 165 million of this 263 million dollar project. Reporting in Fall River, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Bringing you back to school coverage this hour, though a brand new Durfee High School opened up its doors to students for the first time last fall. Today, city and state leaders officially dedicated the new space. Many were alumni themselves. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie went to the dedication ceremony and takes us inside the high school. The dedication was a chance for alumni of Durfee's past to see the future of Durfee High School in Fall River. That includes Mayor Paul Coogan, a graduate turned faculty member. For Mayor Paul Coogan, seeing what he calls Durfee Number 3 come to life has been a surreal experience. When I went to the first one, I worked for 27 years in the second one, and we helped to promote this one, so I'm very, very proud of my Durfee heritage. The former high school vice principal and school committee member says it was a long battle to get the school built. It started with going to the taxpayers and asking them to increase their own taxes so we can have something special for the kids in the city of Fall River, and they agreed with us. Kyle Neves, a Durfee grad and building committee student representative, says the new school was much needed. In 2016, amid his freshman year, the air conditioning broke and more followed in the years ahead. Sophomore year, when things couldn't get any worse, a pipe burst and a couple tens of thousands of gallons of water entered our school and then we missed about a week of school. Junior year, we had a shelter in place and some of the rooms weren't equipped to lock and as we all know, that's definitely a safety hazard. The new Durfee has been modernized in more ways than one. In addition to these weapon scanners at every entrance of the school, classrooms include space for students to learn everything from engineering, cosmetology, or even interior design. The new Durfee High School will provide educators with the upgraded space and state of the art technology to support them in fulfilling their commitment to their students. This three-story school isn't cheap, but the Massachusetts Building Authority funded about $165 million of the $263 million project. Reporting in Fall River, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.